This region has so many great activities to see and do, but my first stop on this journey was to see something a little bit out of the ordinary, and that is the Stokes Collection. Now, I've been to Macedon so many times, but I didn't know this place existed, and it happens to be the largest private collection of antiques and porcelains in the Southern Hemisphere. It's a real hidden treasure. Can't wait to explore. Graham, turning up to this house, driving up that driveway, looking at the house, I was not expecting to see all of this in the Stokes collection. It is incredible. That's the, invariably, that's the usual reaction of people. It's a pretty unassuming house. But once you come in through those doors, it's, it's mind boggling. Okay, so who owns this place? It's owned by a not-for-profit organisation called the Stokes Collection by the benefactor, Cyril Stokes, who'd spent a lifetime of collecting antiques. What shocked me the most is that when you walk in, there is room after room after room and it goes on and on and on. Yeah, yeah. We've got about 20 rooms and they're loosely themed. Primarily, Cyril's love of certain kinds of antiques drove the collection as you see it today. Porcelain he absolutely loves, specifically Royal Worcester, and Sevres from France, Boule furniture, Boule cabinetry, and also lead light windows, which you see right throughout the whole place. And what would be the most expensive piece you'd have here? The valuation on the most expensive thing is the Tiffany window. He would have a space created for it, be it a new room built, a hole in a wall created, and that was the case with that Tiffany window. And it's quite a beautiful piece, and it changes continually with the light coming from the outside. And I see some of the, as you say, the rooms were built to the pieces, it, like some of those chandeliers and the pieces of art, they couldn't fit in any other place, could they? Exactly, exactly. You can, you can walk through the place and you see the varying roof designs and roof lines, and they invariably mean that that room was created for a particular chandelier or a large painting or a large piece of furniture or a tapestry. And so people can, it's not open every day, but people can come and visit? We run tours of the collection. Much of it is the sort of stuff you don't see in museums and galleries. And I think it's a great place for younger people, maybe who haven't experienced anything like this, to come and get an education. But I'm so glad that I came today because the Stokes collection, it just has to be seen, whether you like antiques or not. The intricate detail involved in these antiques and, and the porcelain collection that's the biggest in the Southern Hemisphere, and it's here in Mount Macedon. It's crazy. And the place just goes on and on and on, room after room after room. They had to keep building on just to keep up with this collection. This man just kept buying and buying and buying.